We're going to look at another work by Peter Paul Rubens. This one's in the Philadelphia Museum of Art, and it's called Prometheus Bound, or just Prometheus. The subject is out of classical mythology. Now, we've heard about the Titan Antaeus, uh, who kills travelers. This is a Titan who is very beneficent to human beings. His name is Prometheus, and he stole fire from the gods to give it to humans. But Zeus, or Jupiter, did not think that human beings should be allowed to have the benefits of fire. And so he punished Prometheus by having him chained to a mountain. And every day, a eagle would come and tear out his liver. And every night, the liver would grow back. So every day he was punished this, in this horrific way. What is happening here is Prometheus is suffering because of what we would say would be a charitable act. You know, he's helped these uh, human beings find warmth, be able to cook their food. Uh, and essentially, he's the bringer of civilization to human beings. Uh, because they can't have much of a civilization unless uh, they have the benefits of fire. Allegorically, the story of Prometheus has a, you know, a number of meanings, including the struggle of artistic creativity. Um, and you might want to look at this way down in the lower left of the picture. You can just see a little bit of the fire uh, which is to remind us of why Prometheus is suffering in this way. As you can see, this is a very dramatic composition. Uh, and it has all of these characteristics that we associate with Baroque art. And of course, with Rubens is a perfect example of uh, the very dramatic Baroque style. the uh, Baroque Baroque, if you will. Um, we see the diagonal movement, the uh, way the figure of the Titan is uh, arranged on the surface of the canvas. So there's this strong diagonal movement, uh, which is repeated by the branch of the tree and, of course, the way the eagle is flying in. There's a strong emotional component to this. Uh, Prometheus is suffering. He's twisting. He's writhing. And then, of course, there's a quite a strong light-dark contrast and energetic brushstrokes. And here we have a detail of Prometheus's face, and you have those, those you know, talons which are so sharp, you know, uh, perching on his forehead, um, perching what, just an inch away from his eyes. Now, you'll remember that we said that Rubens had a large workshop. It's even sometimes called a factory for painting. That he would paint his oil sketches and then turn them over to his assistants. And these assistants uh, were often uh, master painters in their own rights. Uh, some of them were specialists. And this is uh, a work in which we know which specialist worked on it. The eagle was painted by Franz Snyders. And Franz Snyders, who specialized in animal painting, uh, was Rubens' animal painter. So here you have the detail of the Rubens, and you could call this Rubens and Snyder as the artists. But it's a very good example of, of that idea of having um, the specialist. Uh, the workshop collaborator uh, working on a painting by Rubens.